Time to repurpose this into a bohemian and a very cozy uh, sofa set here. So uh, first thing first, we need to remove the dust off the skin chair before we can start repainting it. So these cane chairs came with this cushion backing that had to be removed for me to start the process. Right now I have just cleaned the chair with a wet cloth and uh, there was a lot of dismantling to be done with a lot of hooks attached to this cushion. So that is what I'm up to here in a very frustrated expression. <laughs> That's the paint I'm going to use, Annie Sloan paint, that's a chalk paint. And first thing first, get a base because you don't want all that paint falling on the floor, in, especially if you're staying in a rental house. Um, like you can see here, a bit of the cushion backing is still there and for that I need Shams kit which I obviously don't know how to operate so I have to wait for him to finish work so that he can do the rest. Well then, why? So I thought this would be an easy job of painting a chair just like how it sounds but it's not the first coat was just first coast which was negligible the second coat helped me uh, showcase the color and the third coat will be basically filling off the tiny little gaps in between the chair bottom and the legs for that I need a thinner brush and currently I'm using a normal uh, wall paint brush to give it the first coat. Finally the toolkit is out. Time to remove the leftover cushion of the chair. A lot to do here. So uh, like you can see this was just the first coat and uh, and you need like minimum three coats for these uh, gaps to be filled so yeah this is the status so after a lot of discussion and sharing we finally finalized on the fabric and this is the fabric that we chose we got it online and we found a local uh, tailor guy who can who made the cushions basically and because we like the cushions we also changed the another the other two seater uh, cane chair here Ta -da!